It's about saying, I need to be able to flex my network minute by minute to react to changes and events that are happening around. Think of it like, what kind of athlete do you want your network to be? Do you want it to be a weightlifter? Do you want it to be a sprinter? Do you want it to be a swimmer? Well, SDN says it can be all those things. You've got the infrastructure layer, which is the kind of switches, and then on top, you've got the applications. But in the middle, what you've got, you've got a controller layer, and the controller layer mediates between the application and the infrastructure. You might have an SDN application that optimizes uh, Microsoft Link communication. So what the SDN controller will do is it will set up a special high priority route between those two endpoints just for the uh, length of the conversation that you're having. And then it will take it down and make that bandwidth available for the next conversation. So you're reusing the capability of the network exactly where it's needed and where it's required. That's fundamentally what SDN is all about. If you buy HP networking technology today, then um, it's open flow ready so you can deploy SDN in the future when you're ready. So we've got actually millions of switch ports out there, which although they may not be using SDN today, are SDN enabled. So what HP are providing from a hardware perspective is the foundation today. The people are perceiving that there's risk to this. The, the reality of the situation is if you automate or you're taking a lot of the manual potential errors um, out of, uh, of provisioning networks and managing networks. We've done some great work with the universities and colleges where, we've, where we're out there using SDN to help them protect that network infrastructure. They've got thousands of new people every year who turn up with a whole bunch of random devices that want to use their network. And so they need to be able to do that. It's not a question of saying, no, you can only use our devices. We've got a great example um, in the UK here at Lancaster University where we've done exactly that. And that's a really, uh, that's a really great thing for us to be able to do for those guys. Now, HP is not just providing the technology, we're also providing lots of services um, and transformational services so we can talk to customers about how they can look at their existing networks and make that journey to a software-defined network at some point um, uh, in the future. I think that's what Make It Matters all about, is, is around decreasing the cost of managing IT infrastructure so that IT organisations can think more about innovating in their markets rather than worrying about operational matters at the back end, for example. And that's really what SDN is about as well.